Kim Meyer with Horsemanship Help. And today's topic is sacking out a horse, which is another word for desensitizing. And it is a very beneficial tool to help build a relationship with your horse. There's no way in the world you can desensitize your horse to every single thing it can possibly see. But the more that you um, bring things that are scary to your horse and you guys work through it, your horse builds trust in you. So if you see something um, out on trail, the horse has experience with you that, oh, you've shown me some weird things and it's been all right. So with doing the, um, the sacking out, okay, at first, you might just stand a good safe distance away to where they can't um, strike you if they got scared. She's been sacked out a ton and right now we don't have any horses right here that are afraid of being sacked out. We had one, a big, oh, well we have one, a big chestnut gelding who when we did this and I put this under here, he would strike out. He would all fly backwards and he's now getting over this and it's been about two, three years. I mean, um, from being very theatrically scared of it to um, being just every once in a while if the wind catches um, the flag. Um, I like to sack out with a number of objects. I like the lunge whip first. Reason being, it's a little further away than the flag that I'll show you. Okay, do hold the lash when you're starting. Okay, so you let her check it out. You take it away and you pet him. Then, for your safety, you need to stay at the balance point, which is right here at the girth, okay? I am going to pat her, I'm over here, girlfriend. I'm gonna pat her on the butt, on this side, okay? And praise her, okay? So I'm gonna keep patting her on the butt, then I'll pat her at her barrel, and then here, baby, and then here, and then the head. Okay, now she's good. Now you can do what Tom Dorrance used to say, go around the world. Go down, go down the back leg, the front of the back leg, under the belly, back of the front legs, front of the front leg, and up here. And this is where that horse Yogi had a wretched time, okay? And if the horse had a horrible time, you would get in there, like with Yogi, I would get in and get out. I get in and get out because I'm here to build confidence. I'm not here to scare the crap out of my horse. Um, if I was doing this and she got scared, okay, we'll pretend that I put this on her butt and she's like, oh my gosh, okay? You would let her go around you until the horse came to a stop, okay? As soon as the horse stops, you take the pressure off as soon as the horse stops. Okay, so that's the, it, you can really mess this up if you have poor timing. You have to take the object away from the horse while the horse is still, or there have been some horses that have been so theatrical that sometimes you just have to take it away when their theatricalness calms down just a little bit. But if they go and be theatrical and you take it away, they're gonna be like, ha, okay, I've made the person stop doing what they wanted to do. So after you can pet the whole horse and go what Tom Dorn said around the world, then I take the lash, I'm over here, and I do throw it up over her butt, and it hits her in the leg. I put it across her barrel. Okay, and then lastly, if that's all looking good, then the neck, letting the lash come down and touch her leg. Okay? So a lot of people think, well, cool, you got it. This is it. No problem. This is only half of it. With everything you sack out with, um, they've gotta be moving also, okay? It's night and day, night and day. I don't totally know why the difference is. Maybe it's the motion, maybe it's seeing it from different ways, but I do know that you have to do it um, while moving, okay? So, put your horse in a little circle around you, then do the rear end first, so if she got scared, she could just keep going in a circle around. And if the butt feels good, then do the barrel. And if the barrel feels good, then do the neck, okay? If she got very concerned at any point, I would come into her hip and get her rear end away from me to where I'd be safe, all right? So, and obviously this would be done on both sides. 
Another thing that you can do with this, if you ever want to do roping down the road, is I speak girl. Okay, I am not looking at her. Okay, and you can have a little whoosh. Okay, and stop and praise, bringing the horse's head down so that they're in a good calm state. Okay, okay, so I'm not looking at her, so there's no drive of any sort. So when you're working with your horse, you want their head down. If they're, if they're standing but their head's up here, that's a sign that they don't feel very comfortable. Okay, come here, girlfriend. Oh. Now another thing that you can sack them out with is a flag. Okay, you can buy these um, um, just about anywhere. Put horsemanship flag. Um, Pirelli has a stick. Um, there are tons of them. And if um, you don't want to spend, I don't know what they are now, 80, 75 bucks, I don't know, um, probably 75 bucks. If you don't want to do it, just take a dressage whip and put a bandana on the end. Or, and also the sound of it is different. Sometimes I have people, this is cloth, but sometimes I tell people to, to take a dressage whip and put a plastic um, grocery bag on it because it has a whole different crinkle and a different sound, so you have thus then created two different things to sack out with. I would start with the same thing, letting them check it from a distance. She has been sacked out a ton, but I'd be here. Like I said, our your horse yogi when we did it, here under there, boom, flying backwards, okay? Because this is a blind spot, and some horses, their blind spot is more sensitive. Again, head on the butt, Head on the barrel, head on the neck. I'm over here, girlfriend. I'm still over here. Good. Okay. Then I would go over the butt, over the back, over the neck. I'm over here, girlfriend. Okay. But you can see how if I put that there and she was afraid of it, she'd run on top of me. Okay. So that's why you do this side of the spine first. And obviously, like I said, you do both sides, okay? Um, and then you have to, you have to do it while moving, okay? And like I said, when you do it while moving, okay, you might put it out here and the horse gets trotting around. If the horse were to get trotting around and kind of freaked by that, okay, just holding it while walking, okay, you would just kind of put it behind you to take a little bit of the pressure off. Put it back up here, take the pressure off. But then you need to be able to pat them on the butt, on the barrel, and on the head going around, okay? So, in the shot. All right, come up a little bit, girly. Now another thing that you can do that is like the um, twirling is you can not look at them because when you look at them that drives them away okay so i am not going to look at her and i'm going to bring some light okay i'm actually looking at her in the camera okay so you can bring up quite a bit of light but that doesn't mean anything because you're not in that um, but pay all your attention like here i'm looking at the wall but i can totally trick her out of my soft eyes okay I can see her the whole time, like she's about to look out the door there, okay? So be aware when you do this, okay? And then getting where it can go up and over, good, and around, okay? So that is sacking out. Um, one year, um, I had all my students have to bring, we were gonna sack them out with different objects every week. And so a student had to bring an object that they thought would be good to sack out. And it was a good year. It was a good year. Um, this was many years ago. Some people brought um, bikes, their bike, and which is a good thing if you're going to do trail riding. And a lot of our horses that don't, that this is their job here, we spend most of our time here because it's where we make money, um, they don't go out. But bikes um, are a good thing to sack them out with. Somebody brought an umbrella. Somebody bought a beach ball. Somebody brought a little toy gun that shot off. Um, there's all these different things that you can do to sack out your horse. Every opportunity, like we got a new granite step for the front of our house this week, and so it's sitting out on the lawn in a spot that's not normal for them to see. And last night I took 
every single one of our horses up to it, and they're like, whoa, that's not normally there. But that's a form of sacking out, of having them feel comfortable. And Yogi Man, I had to stop numerous times, stop, go up to it, take the pressure off, go up a little bit, take the pressure off. Um, the other horses just went up, but at first they're kind of like, that's not normally there. So that's also a form of sacking out. So anything you can think of, and one thing is that once you start sacking them out, it's not like you have done it once and boom, oh, we're done forever. <laughs> I wish. Um, you have to do the check-in every once in a while. Like, I'm going to go find my um, tarp that is big enough um, that I can throw over them, but it's not so monstrous. So I would cut down a tarp to where we can throw it over their back and stuff. And I'm going to go find that in the shop and pull that out for this week. So it's good to re review them. Um, if you're roping, um, doing it with the with the um, with your rope, okay. So I approach. I have my hand short enough, like if this horse had never seen this rope, I'm holding this. So if she were to get scared, okay, she could go in a circle around me and keep herself safe, okay. And as always, you do everything on both sides. Okay, touch, tap, okay, so you can do that with it, okay? Okay, another thing to stack them out with, okay, is, keep going, girlfriend, keep going. you can stack them out with the rope on their butt, okay, so they can feel that. Then you can get it down around their leg, okay. You might do that from a standstill before you do it while moving, but there are so many things that you can do. You can get it where there's a leg in there, okay, um, and have them do work with having Okay. We can do work where they feel that, okay? All of these things are good things that will desensitize them and get them used to things. So, again, sacking out, start with the hind, do the middle of the horse and then the front on your side of the spine before you flop over to the far side, to the, to the off side of the spine. Do things from a standstill and moving, and be creative. Be creative, and like I said, sacking doesn't necessarily mean to object. If there's like when the big shavings truck comes, you know, I'll bring them over and work with them around the shavings truck while it's throw, you know, got the auger on making the sound. So there's lots of different things you can do to build your horse's confidence. Because horses need to be to be good, they need to be light off your aids, but they also need to be. Um, calm within themselves. They have to have confidence. And, um, and when they feel confident, man, they can do anything. So the more opportunities that you can build confidence in them, and it's very important to me as the, all of my horses are um, school horses, that they are really, really comfortable and, and um, confident. So this has been Kim Meyer with Horsemanship Health. Um, if you liked it, hit the subscribe button. Remember, I want you to stay safe. I want you to enjoy your horse. And I want you to have fun. All right, till next time.